I have a word I want to share with you today. This is a word of encouragement. Yes, that's what this channel is about. Encouragement. But this encouragement is a little different. Maybe it's to the person that wonders if your prayers are getting through, if your labor is in vain. Sometimes we direct it maybe toward the person that's uh, down and out or the person that's barely hanging on. But this is for the one that sometimes I guess maybe says, is what they're doing, is it even in vain or is it going to amount to anything? I want to read to you two verses out of the book of John. Chapter number 4, verses 37 and 38. It said, And herein is that saying true. One sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that whereon you bestowed no labor. Now notice what it says here. It said, Other men labored, and you have entered in to their labors. What that is saying is very simple, and I'll try to put it in simple English. Sometimes what you sow right now, the work you're doing, you might think it goes unnoticed. You might think that it's all for naught. But someone is or will reap the benefits. Keep doing what we're doing. That's what God wants us to do. His word is for us to keep doing what we're doing. Because our labor is not in vain. That scripture said, putting it in simple English, sometimes one man might sow and somebody else will come along and they will reap the benefits that someone else has sown. Someone else has labored. We can put it into, if you want to talk about it in a physical comparison. Think about a garden, for example. Somebody plants a garden. They till the garden. Plant the garden take care of the garden, try to keep the, the rabbits out of their garden, and, and so on. Then what happens? A lot of times when that, when that garden grows, do you know what happens a lot of times? That person that has the garden, they end up giving off a lot of their vegetables and things that they've planted to other people. Other people reap the benefits of what they have done. That's a little physical a little physical example, okay? Well, let me give you a little spiritual advance, uh, spiritual example. And this happened yesterday, and, and I'd, I'd read these words the other day, and it really meant a lot to me, and it seemed like then the Lord confirmed this yesterday to me, and, and it was like I knew I had to share it with you. I was talking to my mother on the phone, and my mother is like uh, 87 years old. And it was around 10 or 12 years ago. I hope you've been watching these this channel, these videos, where we want to try to encourage you in Christ and brighten your day with maybe either a word from the Lord or songs, like like we've got a few little music videos on there. We go back and watch them if you if you haven't seen them. My daughter and myself, I think they'll be a blessing to you. But it was about ten or twelve years ago, I guess. My daughter was interested in playing music, playing a piano. So we had to take her to start getting piano lessons. Well, due to my wife's work schedule and myself, we couldn't do it. The piano lessons was earlier in the day, and there was just no way for us to possibly do it where we lived. And getting her to and from. So my mother at the time, she was, I don't know, probably uh, 76, 77 in that age area. She said, I'll do it. She said, I will take her to get those piano lessons. When I was talking to her yesterday, of course, during this lockdown type situation, she's not been out very much or got to hear my daughter play very much lately. So I played her the video that we uploaded, this last video, where we sang, uh, I wasn't there. And my mother, she, 
she started to cry and I could tell she was crying. And I said, I said, well, I didn't want to make you cry. And she said, well, these are tears of joy. And like I said, this was around 70, she was 76, 77 when she was taking her to get these lessons. Well, now she's 87 years old. My daughter is playing these videos. We're posting them on YouTube. They're blessing you, hopefully. Wherever you might live in the United States or anywhere in the world, I have seen through our, or my daughter has shared with me, is she's the, the brains behind this whole channel. She has shared with me how many percent of our views are coming from outside the United States. So wherever you are, whether it be in the United States or outside the United States, you are seeing and hearing her play the piano. And hopefully it's blessing you. Now, here's the thing. Here's, here's my mother, as she was listening, she said, and I hadn't even told her about these verses that I read. She said, you know, she said, I would like to think that I had a hand in that. And I said, Mom, you did have a hand in it. I said, you're the one that took her. We couldn't have got her there. You did. But see, now just like, just like the garden, physically, we reap the benefits by getting the stuff out of the garden. You get the green beans and the potatoes and all of those good things from the garden from somebody that's they have taken the, the dedication, done the work. Here's my mother. And she said, you know, I hope that I had a hand in it. I said, you did have a hand in it. You are the one that took her to get the, the lessons to get her where she is today. So you see, spiritually, we are reaping the benefits of something that she had a hand in doing. Now, obviously, we raised our daughter, so I feel like we can we can take a little bit of credit. But what I'm saying is, uh, we play an important part. You play an important part in the things you are doing today. Because that part of her, those piano lessons, my mother had a huge hand in, and now, all over the world, you could be hearing and reaping the benefits. So don't feel like sometimes that what you're doing doesn't matter. Because God sees what each and every one of us is doing. And you know, I felt last year to do this channel because God started dealing with me on it. And he laid those verses on my mind the other day. I knew he did. And I thought, well, I'm going to try to work them into my next video. And then when she said that yesterday, I said, you won't believe this, Mom. But I said, I was just reading two verses on what you're saying. And I said, I said, that's really been, this is a confirmation. Isn't God good? Isn't he wonderful? So see, see, God is so good in this day and time. Don't feel like today, don't get depressed and feel like that your labor is in vain because it's not. Somebody's going to get to reap the benefits and now, you know, that person that, that has that garden, you know, if it's, if it's tomatoes or whatever, they might get to, you, you might get to reap the benefits too. Because you might be able to slap a good old tomato on a bologna sandwich. And you might be able to enjoy that too. But guess what? I'm sure you're going to take some of your tomatoes and say, Hey, do you all need some tomatoes? And you're going to let somebody else reap some benefits too. They're going to reap benefits on the labor that you have done. Physically and spiritually. Keep praying for the people that we're praying for. Let's keep trying to post videos to help people. Because you know what? I feel like somebody is being helped by these videos. And remember, our labor, mine and yours, is not in vain. It, it will help somebody. And it is helping somebody. Like and subscribe to this channel. We want to try to do more things to help you to know that... The things we are doing in this life is making a difference. Making a difference in other people's lives and in our communities for Christ. That's what it's all about. Hit that little bell down there, that little bell. You see that little bell down there in the corner? Hit that little bell 
and that will tell you each and every time we do a video. You'll know, you'll be notified, you'll say, hey, God Country and You has done another video. I don't know if it's that little girl playing music, or I don't know if it's that fella that's talking, but I know that it's going to be something that's going to bless me. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Our whole goal here, our whole mission here on this site is to encourage you in Christ. Like and subscribe. Remember, God loves you, and we'll catch you on the next video.